Well, we are continuing with our conversations here on Good Morning Namibia on this Thursday morning. The Electricity Control Board, also shortened ECB, embarked on a cost of unserved energy um, study which attempted to determine the economic impact of unplanned electricity outages in Namibia. The ECB announced the findings of the study in the capital. With more details on this, I'm now joined in, in studio by Electricity Control Board's Pinehas Mutota, as well as the executive of the Markets and Economic Regulation and um, financial analyst Donateni Amkutua. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, mm -hmm. Anago. Mm -hmm. And good morning to the viewers at home. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for having us. All right. It's a pleasure to, to have you. I'd like to start with you, uh, Mr. Mutota. For the layman watching this morning, can you please explain what the cost of unserved energy is exactly? Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, first and foremost, I would just perhaps like to inform the public what the ECB does. Mm -hmm. um, we are the Electricity Control Board. Our main um, work is to regulate the electricity supply industry with the focus of uh, an efficient supply of electricity to customers. So with regard to the cost of unserved energy, um, what we are intending on doing is to calculate the value of um, the, what the economy will lose in an event that uh, the electricity is not supplied. Mm. So basically what it means is that um, if we have a power outage which is unplanned, uh, how much will the economy lose? and how much will the industry specific lose, and uh, also what will be the impact of the households. Mm -hmm. But it's more on the economic part. The reason why we're doing it is that uh, by knowing this number, we will then be able to make uh, better decisions uh, in terms of uh, um, investment to have a more robust network so that we minimize uh, electricity uh, outages and interruptions, the unplanned ones. Mm -hmm. Mr. Um, Amakutua, having heard what Mr. Mutota just explained, um, the reasons behind the study, one would wonder, is it something that we should be expecting to happen for us to have outages? Um, thank you for your question. Um, so in an electricity system, it is expected that um, uh, there would be outages in in, uh, in electricity system. Um, we Even when we plan our, our systems, we plan that electricity should be available about 98% of the time. The okay. other 2% is so that there's operating and maintenance that is done on the, on the network. Um, but the study that we're focusing on here today is looking at those unplanned outages. So those unplanned outages and the impact they have on the economy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So what uh, would the values found in the study um, be used for? I know you, you explained that it's for better planning, mm -hmm. but perhaps just broaden it for us. Yeah, so to put it in context, uh, what we are then saying is that, um, for instance, if we are noting that in a specific area, mm -hmm. the unplanned outages are perhaps occurring maybe every hour in two months' time, or in some areas it's actually happening uh, frequently, so before we take a decision to then upgrade that network or to invest in a network or, for instance, to build a second line in order to ensure that if one line of supply is off, then the other line will be, will be on, we need to then see what is actually the value that is created by that sector. For instance, what you can imagine is that for, for, for a mining sector, most mines have probably what we call N minus one, what is two lines. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that if one line is off, then the other line is, is on. Mm -hmm. This is simply made because an, uh, an operation such as a mine probably cannot afford to have electricity off for a longer period. But for a household um, uh, uh, consumer, uh, you will also then need to, to gauge and weigh the benefit versus the cost in having maybe another second line providing you electricity. Imagine you having two lines providing electricity at home. Mm -hmm. It will probably be expensive. Will it then be much more cost effective to have that second line as opposed to then perhaps only then be dealing in making sure that the 
outages are minimized. All right. So that is, that is exact, actually what we are looking at in terms of when we have this study, we can use it to plan better. Okay. Uh, Mr. Amakutua, we understand that the um, study was done in collaboration with uh, Circuit Capital. Perhaps also give us an overview of what exactly the study entailed when it was conducted and what role did Circus Capital uh, play in the study? Yes, um, it was actually Sirius Capital. Sirius? Sirius. Okay, Sirius, all yes, right. Yes, Sirius Capital. I think perhaps um, Roland Brown is the one of the, 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 the directors in Sirius Capital. I'm, I'm not sure if you know him. But anyway, um, Sirius Capital were, were our consultant. They assisted the ECB in developing the study. Um, um, they, they, the, in, in, in developing the study, we used uh, a method which was called the macroeconomic uh, method. Um, there were actually two methods that we considered. Mm -hmm. One was a survey method where they would have to go out and speak to um, the different sectors in the economy and then just find out or get an indication of what the impact of electricity outages would be, mm -hmm. or um, which, the, which was, the, was the method that they eventually used or that we eventually um, uh, approved, which was the uh, macroeconomic method. And that method basically um, then determined the macroeconomic um, uh, impact per sector depend, uh, based on the electricity that they consume or that each sector consumes. Like, for example, if you look at the mining sector, how much electricity do they consume? Okay. And what is the value add to the economy that the mining sector um, provides. Um, uh, and then based on that, we determine an index, um, which was then the outcome of the, pro of the, of the study. Mm -hmm. The index, um, uh, we, 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 we developed three indexes. The one index is a direct uh, effect, mm -hmm. which looks at a specific industry, um, like, I'm, like, like the mining example that I'm giving. So if the mining uh, sector were affected with an electricity outage, what would the effect to the economy be? And that direct effect came to uh, 36 million dollars per kilowatt hour. And then we also had, um, the, the, the second index was the uh, total effect, which um, looked at the entire economy. And if the entire economy is, or the electricity is not supplied to the entire economy, what would the economic uh, effect be on the economy? And that um, was 85 million dollars per kilowatt hour. Mm. The third index was the um, residential effect, which looked at what would the impact be if the residential consumers were not um, supplied with electricity as they needed. And that cost came to $11 million per kilowatt hour. Okay. Mm. With all of this um, outcomes that you have found in the study, will Namibia be able to survive an outage should it occur? Our, will our economy withstand it? Well, um, so 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 part of the the second part of the, the the study looked at the financial impact on the economy, and what we determined was that um, we determined um, two 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 values basically. Um, we determined that over weekends, if the economy is out, um, or if there's electricity outages, the effect on the economy is around 126 million. Um, for, uh, um, effect to the economy, which also equates to around 5 million per hour on weekends. And then um, over weekdays, we determined that if the economy or there's, the, there's an outage in elect electricity supply, that effect would um, cost the economy 41 million Namibian dollars per hour and or, or a billion Namibian dollars per annum. Mm -hmm. So um, the economy would perhaps survive based on the, 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 the magnitude of our economy. Mm -hmm. um, when we did the study, we determined that the gross value add um, of the entire sectors to the economy is around 151 billion. So a billion versus 151, you can make the estimate. And, but we would relatively survive. Right? We also have uh, reliable um, electricity service uh, supply okay. um, through our solar uh, systems and as well as our imports with our neighbors. Okay. Mm. As we are gearing towards rounding up our conversation, perhaps talk to us about some of the recommendations that lie within the study. Yeah, so the recommendations, um, perhaps one thing that we have not spoken about is the, the, 
how the study or the how the outcome or the results that Tonatene have mentioned, how are we going to use them? Mm -hmm. So, as I've indicated, uh, we want to use them as uh, indicators or to inform policymakers, to inform anybody or investors when we want to invest in the network. So, but at the end of the day, um, we need to have a robust and a reliable network system mm -hmm. that is able to provide uh, reliable electricity to the consumers. Um, of course, what the consumers must also understand is that um, there will always be interruptions. Uh, there will be unplanned interruptions. Systems do fail. Uh, equipments do go maintenance and so forth. But what we are trying to do with this uh, study is that um, if there should be an unplanned, an unplanned is different to a planned one because what we're saying is that the planned one, a consumer can make a, a, an arrangement mm -hmm. uh, so that if you are told that tomorrow there will be no electricity, you will probably make an arrangement that you cook before you do certain things before. Mm -hmm. But the, one of the, perhaps a, a bigger portion of this is that um, it will then uh, be able to assist us when we are taking those decisions to upgrade our infrastructure so that we have an understanding of what the impact on the economy is. So that ideally we want to have an economy that is uh, in integrated, that is uh, working on uh, reliable electricity supply. All right. We, we, the study is only one of the studies that we have done. So we are inviting scholars, researchers to use the numbers, to also then interpret them so that they can use them in, uh, in informing the public mm. and uh, everybody else when we are trying to craft our, our, our policies and so forth. That actually leads me to my uh, final question. What is next now that the study is complete? Well, um, what is next is basically, we will, as the control board, the electricity control board will, what, wants to continue um, ensuring that the electricity system is optimized, that there is efficiencies in the network, um, that um, licensees, uh, utilities, the likes of NAMPA, Irongored, Norred, Sinored, City of Mtuk, are operating in an efficient manner. Okay. And that um, uh, when investments are made, in the in in networks consumer um, or, or costs are taken into consideration i think um, electricity prices are something that um, is of uh, of high interest to consumers uh, people we always hear people complaining about high electricity prices um, so the electricity control board will uh, continue ensuring that um, when investments are made in the in the sector um, they are made efficiently and that um, uh, they are the, the right investments that, that need to go into the sector. All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very thank much you. for having us. All right. Thank you to thank our you. listeners and, and viewers. viewers. Yes. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank well, you. that was uh, Pineas Mutota, who is the Executive for Markets and Economic Regulations at the Electricity Control Board, as well as Donateni Am Amaka Amakutua, who is a financial analyst um, for the Electricity Control Board. And they were talking to us about the study that they embarked on, which involved the cost of unserved energy. We will be back shortly. Stay with us.